Hi, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today about clockwork. So we taught this recently and one of the things we thoroughly enjoyed about this was that the stimulus was really engaging for the children. It sparked their interests and in particular in this lesson I saw the children really reflect on their thinking at the start and consider how much their thinking had changed throughout the course of the lesson. The concrete preparation part here was really essential because it came, became quite obvious that actually the children weren't 100% sure what clockwork was and there was some confusion between battery powered and clockwork. So it was good to iron that out quickly. Initially, lots of the children thought that because she was dancing, she was really happy. But actually, through further discussion, they began to explore the concept that you could be happy and sad at the same time. And this led on to some children identifying that the character was possibly trapped. Interestingly, the children were drawing on their knowledge of story plots to aid their thinking and making comments like, well, what we know about characters in stories is that they want happiness. And so we think that's what's happening here. Later on in the clockwork lesson, they look at the idea of, of the world turning grey. And this again took their thinking to another level because they started to understand that perhaps the character was in fact, as they termed it, the power source. And there was a bit of a healthy debate then about whether the character was the power source or powerful and whether that was the same or, or different. And this really began to get the children thinking about their ideas, their initial ideas, and whether they had in fact changed. The greatest moment within this lesson was when they picked up on the theme of sacrifice. And one child said, she's going to have to lead a miserable life in the tower so everyone else can lead a colourful life. This in turn led on to discussions about what a colourful life meant and linked beautifully back to the initial thoughts that some children had had with the concept of feeling trapped. The end of the lesson saw one child really identify that the character wasn't happy at all, which they previously thought, and he said, well, she's got no friendship, no family and no freedom. So she has, in fact, made the ultimate sacrifice. So a great lesson. What I particularly liked about it was the brilliant questioning, which led the children to those really deep concepts. Thank you.